Vimeo tutorial for beginners how to use Vimeo online video editor. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we create our own videos online using Vimeo. Basically this software provides us the opportunity to do this. In order to get started we need to visit their website vimeo.com and here we have two options, see their paid plans or join for free. So in this case I'm going to join for free to show you all the features. As you can see we can create our own account or just continue with Google. I'll choose continue with Google because this is most suitable as for me. So in a few seconds we'll come to our home page with all of our stuff here. In the top of the screen we can see our menu with templates, video types, video tools, resources, manage videos, upgrade options and also contact sales options. In the left side we can see a lot of different uh, templates as you can see or we, cre we can create our own from scratch or just get a quick video. In order to create something we need to click on new video in the right top corner right up here. As you can see we have four options. We can upload, create video, record screen or create an event. I'm going to show you how to create video, so let's click on create video. In a few seconds we'll come to our like option to add our media, so we can just simply click on add media. We can record something, we can upload from our computer, so if you'll click we'll just simply need to choose like photos, videos and music. In this case I'm going to use some stock uh, videos, for example from this category I'm going to choose this video maybe and maybe this one let it be like that so it may take a little time until everything will be downloaded i'll just click on next to continue our uh, you know editing so after that we'll come to choose music page where we can just simply use uh, like music i'm going to use this one so i'll just simply click on create and in a few seconds everything will be done and we'll come to our editing page so also we need to render for a little let's wait it's pretty easy basically you don't even have to you know um, choose every media you want to use because while editing you'll have the opportunity to add it on your like editing page so it does uh, it's not necessary to add all at the beginning so we can just add while we are creating something so let it be like this. So in order to go to editing editor, we need to click on edit video right up here. So let's click and we'll come to our, you know, editor page online editor. In the left side, we have our menu with media, presets, text, graphics, music, palette and brand. This is the main menu we are going to use. In the top of the screen, we have the option to name our project. As you can see now, it's like unt untitled. We can see the ratio, if you are going to create like videos for YouTube, LinkedIn and so on, we are going to use this one, vertical and squared. Also there is like duration of our video and we can click on preview to see our video at all. Also there is like save option to save our project. In the bottom of the screen we have our timeline with like, you know, uh, different sense. We, are going, we can change between them. If we we'll click on timeline we can see it more like... Uh, you know in a correct way. So let's click on done and we'll come back and two of our videos We already edit are right up here so we can change the position We can change the order of our sense if, if we need we can add a new sense And of course if we want to edit some of them We can just simply click on these icons right up here Also, we have the opportunity to hide them or to delete to do this We need to click on more in the right top corner in the sand squad so in media folder, we, uh, as you can see, we have the opportunity to upload our own media, as I already said, or we can add some more stock images from here. In my media folder, we'll find everything from our computer we up uploaded. And on Google Photos, we can connect our Google Photos account to use like Google Photos from here. So I'm going to add one more stock, you know, video with CT category and here I'm going to choose something maybe like this let it be like this so let's click on plus and as you can see it was successfully added to my scene also we have some presets with different templates for intro outro record clean underline so we can just simply add something at the beginning or 
for example, if you're going to add like, like title, like cl clean title, we can simply use this one. So I'm going to click on plus and I'm going to move it at the beginning. So before like adding something, we are going to write maybe name, let it be like name of our channel. Let's customize. So we can just simply click on our send on uh, our timeline, click on the necessary part we are going to edit. And as you can see in the left side here, we can find the opportunity to add something like to change helper man let it be the name of our channel supporting information let it be like tutorials uh, so now it looks like this and if you click on preview it will look like it may take a little time but if you look uh, at all uh, so our like preview our intro of our channel uh, will look like this so let's wait for a little to find it out how does it looks like it may take a moment so 63% is already like done so let's wait for a little maybe while it's editing we can just uh, discuss about our text area also we we can add some text here so like title headline and so on so we can click on just simply add text write something like a hello maybe we can resize our text and as you can see in the top of the screen there is the option to edit to customize we can change the font here we can change the color we can change the animation add animation basically change the size if we need so now it looks like this we can also scale it by moving around the corners so let's change color to something like like that maybe we can also add drop shadow we can edit timing we can edit the wall text so basically this is with how can we deal with text and also there is like a graphic area uh, where we can add different shapes bodies in motion arrows love and so on also we can use a music area to use some music and palette of course so uh, basically this is how can we deal with these instruments in order to save our project we just just simply click on save in the right top corner and it will be successfully saved so now we can go to our cabinet by clicking on the logo in the left like top corner we'll click on leave and we'll go to right up uh, here as you can see to our preview but basically uh, we can just simply you know click on this three dots here and we can delete or send file to somewhere uh, but uh, you know uh, unfortunately there is like only with a watermark with a free version if we are going to try to look for the paid plans we can find a lot of uh, different plans we can buy for example starter with like $12 a month, standard $20, advanced $65 and enterprise. So there is like big differences and the main differences and for me that we can just you know um, export it without watermark so this is a way of how can we deal with the mail.com hope this video helped you out if it is please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below goodbye guys